Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. We have air. Air is up. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Weekend's energy. Let's see. You're going to see something this weekend. I don't know if that's like... Huh. I don't know. Let's just see. Coming in, it's King of Pence energy. It's dealing with the King of Pence type energy. It's, it's, I love the King of Pence. Um, he's my favorite king. He's reliable, dependable. He's secure within himself. He, you know, strong. Family man. So you're going to see something. I don't know if it's, th it's them or you. That was the first message. You're going to see something. You guys, air. Because when, I, you know, I said you were going to see something. I saw like the rocket ship, but to me it was like a face. And I kind of see that here. And it's not a rocket ship. It's more like galactic, but... I didn't have my glasses on, so it looked like that. So it's a masculine's going to see something. So I don't know if they've been feeling stuck, because this is what I did initially. But that would be reversed. And that's a good thing. It's, it's coming out of that, seeing something. But it's technically this way. So normally I'd be like, you're not seeing something the right way, because it's the Eight of Swords. It's, it's like mental anguish. It's... it's Choosing to be in that energy, choosing to stay stuck, you know, choosing to be comfortable, choosing, you know, all the, the wrong things. And then I got meditation. What complete different energy? Yeah, see, this is somebody who's really going within. It's like negative to positive. It just brought me to what? Tupac? No, Biggie. I went from negative to positive. I think that's Biggie. This is someone who's got childhood wounds. Got the high priestess here, so I don't know if somebody can't stop thinking about a feminine, someone who's extremely spiritual. You saw Major Arcana, the high priestess, the devil, the hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. There's some childhood trauma here. This is also somebody that can't stop thinking about a feminine energy or masculine, another energy. I went from positive to negative. I know I went from negative to positive and it's all good. You know very well. Who you are, <laughs> hold you tight, reach for the stars. Pretty sure that's Biggie. So it's good. We might be dealing with a Capricorn. Again, because that was the, the message with masculine too. Masculine's definitely taking their power back. Ace of Swords, seeing something. Didn't I say that? You're going to see something this weekend? Yes. Seeing it. See? You're seeing it. The masculine is seeing something differently this weekend. Could be the way he looks at a feminine. Could be just the way he's looking at his own thoughts. What's best for him. What's best for you. So that's good. I'm going from negative to positive. The star, justice in the world. Damn, again, three major arcana. And the high priestess, again, at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so... 
could be dealing with somebody who likes things, you know, fair and just, you know, knows how to have that, that balance. I don't know if something ended with somebody and you're stressed out. There's a destined situation here. This is you. This is a, a masculine that can't stop thinking about a feminine. And I think the feminine look is extremely spiritual. Or vice versa. It's just coming in. I'm reading the depiction on the cards. Okay. But this is a masculine that's seeing someone differently. It's creating the balance. Someone knows like something's destined. Somebody from it's, it's somebody from your past or it's somebody from a past life. I mean, this energy cannot stop thinking about somebody. And it's, it's not, this isn't actually negative. This is somebody who wants to bring balance back. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. There's definitely childhood trauma here, though, too. Heartache, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. Sword in the rose. Yeah, you're seeing, you're seeing some. Okay, so this is telling me clearly, yes, you can't stop thinking about somebody, right? You must have a beautiful connection with someone. This is clarity, truth. This is seeing it. So I don't know if you realized whatever you were holding on to was holding you down. Because this is feeling trapped and stuck. It could have been in a karmic situation. Okay, having hope that, you know, things will end smoothly, hopefully. Um, but this is definitely a masculine that's like, feels stabbed in the back regarding something. Truth is coming out. And if the truth doesn't come out, it's just you're seeing something. It's so clear, seeing, seeing. And it was the first message you got. And the universe is going to make sure you freaking see something. That is a given. So to me, it's, you're restricting. You were restricting yourself. And now, to me, you're realizing you were restricting yourself. Some of you justice is being served. Oh, heck yeah. Girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, charmed. Justice is being served. Tell me about meditation. This has got to be that uh, spiritual connection. Something here. Yeah, soulmates. I like you. Romance, flirting. You, that, that's that energy you can't stop thinking about. It, it's what you're seeing. You're looking at somebody completely differently. You're seeing it. You're seeing multiple things. You're seeing somebody else. You're seeing destiny. You're seeing other things. You're seeing a lot of things. You're also seeing that someone's kept you in a situation. Someone who's possibly stabbed you in the back, you know, and it's like calm is being served. This is somebody who was blocking a masculine. This is energy that did not want to see it, but now is, is seeing it. Yeah, see, with the King of Pens coffin, endings bring new beginnings, change, liberation, meeting the one, getting back out there, going in a new direction. To me, there's, there's somebody that's already here. This is good. This is good. I'm going to clarify this high priestess right here. I want to see if you just, whew, nope, that's going to the high priestess, like I said. Okay, it's that spiritual woman. You might want to go watch. I just did it. It was water. 
that's where she was kicking in that new soulmate and like I said it's chances are it's just it's destined okay so this is good getting back out there you could be meeting somebody new over the weekend or just realizing hey I gotta get back out there something's over like not dealing with this anymore I'm moving forward you might even bump into somebody from your past bam okay ace of cups somebody brand new or somebody that's like unconditional love it's it's spiritual too it's spiritual love it's spiritual soulmate destined situation here i don't know if the destined situation is taking place this weekend or if it's with that i don't think so well there's something going taking place right but it's it's more like this person figuring out where they stand and what they want You got, you got new love, unconditional love. And it was at the bottom of the deck, so it's right around the corner. I hope you guys have a kick-ass weekend. I love you guys. Bye.